Tom Longo, Dorelli Performance. We're in Los Angeles, California. We're a performance cooling company. What we're bringing to SEMA this year is a 1966 Mercury Cyclone GT stock car. And so the idea behind the car is to build a car that looked like the 66, 67 Cyclones that they raced in NASCAR back then. But to add all the modern technology so it doesn't ride like a 1966 Mercury Cyclone NASCAR. And so we kind of, you know, brought in a lot of different touches. You know, there's a lot of different feels of the look of the car, but more on the drivetrain side. You know, when we started looking at the photos and all the stuff from, you know, Bud Moore who built these cyclones, a lot of these cyclones back in 66, 67, it just came to us and said, that is perfect. Everybody talks about the motor, talks about the rear end, the transmission, how much horsepower, those types of things. But rarely do they talk about how it's being cooled. So it was kind of that whole, you know, accumulation of ideas saying, let's really build a car that, you know, can showcase our products and among all the uh, sponsored products too. We're building it in the shop, in the corner of a manufacturing facility with employees. But this time, we wanted to do it ourselves. Now it took a lot longer and it's a lot more money and a lot more uh, effort than we ever uh, anticipated. And it makes you really appreciate the guys that do build cars for a living. But, you know, that was kind of our goal, was to do it with our own employees, as much as we can, obviously. What sets this car apart is the look and feel of the car. Again, a street legal NASCAR is what, you know, kind of the, the whole thing we're going after. But we feel like you don't see many Mercury Cyclones, but you really don't see too many that are built into NASCARs or stock cars of that day. And uh, I'd say that's pretty unique. We did some major modifications here to the front end. Uh, you're first looking at the core support. We took out the factory core support and built the tube chassis so we could hold our radiator, our grill supports, and our oil coolers, electric fans, things like that. I want to highlight this exhaust system custom built exhaust coming back here uh, all the way to the muffler where we sectioned it to get the clearance up into the body. So we took a regular muffler, sectioned it, put it back together, TIG welded it, and now we have a nice finished muffler that's up inside our pocket. We decided to use a NASCAR True 15 inch rim. We had to do some modifications to the suspension as we talked about from the top. So we removed the shock towers and added this A-arm suspension and then we, to get a big brake on there, the wheel allowed us to go with this big Willwood brake kit. SEMA is important to our business because it represents us in a way that we cannot represent ourselves as a small company. It takes all the whole entire group of manufacturers and again, customers and reps and puts us all together. Now the SEMA show itself yeah, the world's largest showcase. I mean, it's the place to be. It's the place to uh, unveil a car like this. It's a place where business is conducted and, and people meet. It's the biggest car show in the world. To be considered for SEMA Battle of Builders is way bigger than I've ever expected uh, anything. Uh, I really admire a lot of those guys that we've seen on TV, the big builders, and uh, the stuff that they put out is unbelievable. And to be a guy, an industry guy from when I was a little kid, you know, my parents went to SEMA. I mean, that's when, I, you, know, so, you know, they'd be gone for that week. And to be able to have a car that's even considered is uh, huge. Looks good. Can't wait to get this thing finished.